Coach, talk about your first day of practice at SMU. Oh, well, it was a lot of fun. I, 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 I love being around these guys. And uh, June Jones, is uh, I've known him for a long time and, and uh, always been kind of kindred spirits when it comes to throwing the ball around. So I'm really uh, honored to be here with him. How different is your air raid offense from his run and shoot offense? Oh, I stole about half of it from him, so it's pretty much the same. The uh, I've, I've had to learn the language, you know. It, it's like learning a second language, but but uh, other than that, it's you know you you can lay the lay the two playbooks down, and they're they're pretty much uh, the same. And how much time did you guys spend leading up to the spring kind of together, throwing ideas back and forth? Well, this is all kind of a rushed up deal. I haven't been here very long, so not very long. But um, you know, he he's got everything pretty well set. And, kind of doing what they've been doing around here. Coach Jones said he tried to hire you a couple of years ago and then McMurray extended your contract. How close were you, do you think, to moving to Dallas a couple of years ago? I think I actually told him yes for a day. And then, like, all, <laughs> like you know, you get in that position where you start thinking about your staff and, and uh, you got eight or ten guys that be out of jobs and things like that. And This year it was kind of a deal where I had a young assistant, Mason Miller, who's done a great job. And we'd won, you know, had three straight winning seasons. So it was a a little better chance that, that he would become the replace me there, so all those guys kept their jobs. You got a, a staff full of guys with extensive backgrounds in the passing game. Coach Jones, Coach Phillips, Dan Morrison is, is what assistant coach or right. associate head coach for offense. Right. How do you break up the the responsibilities well, with we'll, all of you on the staff? We'll grow into that. I mean, uh, that I, I think the big thing for me was to be able to. Uh, take this to the next level, you know, and, and uh, be able to do something, uh, tweak it just a little bit. You know, Bill Walsh used to say you need to change your offense about 10 to 20 percent every three or four years. So I, I think there's so many people running air raid offense right now, the chance to be able to combine what I've been doing with uh, with the run and shoot is, is uh, was an opportunity I need to do. And what's the biggest area maybe of improvement that you want to bring to this offense with Coach Jones? Well, I, we you know, we just got to be a little more – Affected than, than they were, uh, particularly at the beginning of last year. It's kind of an unusual situation, I think, with Garrett coming in and not getting here till nearly the season started and all that. So, I, I, I think they they would just get better just from experience. More, they, they had a lot of young receivers last year, so I, you know I, I think it's going to improve quite a bit. I'm just going to try to add my two cents where I can. What do you get more? When you look at your career, how do you differentiate between the satisfaction you get when you see your players do really well or all the coaches who are part of the Hal Mummy coaching tree around the country doing well? Well, I look for a long time there. It's just going to be like a bush, but uh, they've kind of <laughs> caught on fire here lately. Uh, yeah, it, you know, they're all friends of mine. I want to see them do well, and, and uh, I, I'm really excited for them.